today I will be taking you through the steps to glitter these stemless wine glasses. Let's get started. Okay, so get your materials together before you start. I'm protecting my work surface with a little bit of wax paper. I've got an old cookie sheet with two sheets of tin foil. I'm using two DVD cases to get my level line. Dry erase marker tape to the top. I've got electrical tape, a pair of scissors, our stemless wine glass, foam brush, plastic cup, and glitter. I'm also going to be using the glossy polycrylic. If you would rather, you can use Mod Podge. Um, make sure to use either the glossy or the dishwasher safe. I'll also be sealing with a two-part epoxy. You can get this on Amazon or any craft store. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get a level line where your glitter is going to be. I have two DVD cases here. You can use anything you just have around the house that's going to be tall enough and steady enough. I have taped a dry erase marker to the top. So what you do is you hold the case steady and make your line all the way around with your dry erase marker. So I'll be using electrical tape to mark off my line. I feel that it's a little bit more flexible so I get a better seal against the glass. So you just want to start slowly, find the edge of your marker line. And then what I do is just follow the line closely all the way around. When you get to the end, try to match up your ends as closely as possible so you don't have a weird jagged line there. Smooth it down. And I like to run my hand over the edge of the tape to create a nice seal and to remove the excess marker. Now that we have our glass taped off, we are going to add our first coat of polycrylic. You're going to want to have a nice even thin coat. You don't want to put this on too thick. It will take longer to dry and you have the risk of running once you put your glitter on and it can look streaky. So we have our polycrylic on the glass. It, I'm not going to let it dry at all. And we're gonna add our first coat of glitter. So be generous with the glitter. We have this over a surface of tin foil so that we can pour it back in the bottle. So don't worry about using too much. None of this is going to be wasted. Tap the glass to knock off the excess. So 
So we're not gonna let this dry at all before we take the tape off. This will give you a nice clean line. So you might notice that it's not very evenly coated and you can see through the glitter in spots. That is fine. What we're gonna do is just let this dry and our second coat will take care of all of the gaps in the glitter. We're not gonna let this dry at all. We're just going to go ahead and pull the tape off now. The reason we pull it off now is we wanna make sure we maintain a clean line. And if we allow the tape to be on while this first coat is drying, you will get a very uneven line. And there's an example of that. This did pull up the edge of the glitter and it's very rough and it just doesn't look very nice. So we're gonna let this dry for about an hour. It might be different where you are depending on humidity and temperature. So we're just gonna let this dry and then we'll add our second coat. Okay, so this has been drying for about an hour and we are going to put a second coat of polycrylic on over the glitter. It's very important to have a small amount of polycrylic in a cup because you don't want to dip your brush back into your can of polycrylic because there will be just a few little specks of glitter on there. At this point, if this is optional, you can re-tape off your line if you're not confident that you can get close to the edge cleanly. I don't because it's kind of messy with the loose glitter. So what I do, I start close to that edge and I just get as close as I can with the brush. And then I just very gently pull the brush down the side of the glass. You will get a little bit of glitter on your brush. That is fine. It's normal. It won't affect the final outcome. Okay, so we have a second coat of polycrylic on over our first coat of glitter. We are going to add a second coat. Again, don't be stingy with the glitter, it's fine. Pour it back in the bottle when you're done. The more glitter you put on, the higher chance that you're gonna fill in all those little nooks, crannies you won't have any gaps in your glitter. Again, shake off the excess. It'll just make the next step a little easier. So there's our second coat. It is completely covered. There's no streaks, there's no gaps, holes in the glitter. Looks pretty good. You can see it looks like the line's a little uneven because I do have a little bit of glitter that just sticks to the edge of my glass from friction, that's fine. After this dries and we go to the sealer, we'll just wipe that right off and it'll come off no problem. You'll have a nice clean line. This has been drying for a couple of hours. Make sure it's nice and dry because that second coat of polycrylic will be a little thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my finger along the edge of my glitter to remove some of the excess glitter. The reason I'm doing this is just because it makes my line a little bit easier to see for adding the final coat of sealer. Mm -hmm. 
So now, I'm just gonna take my polycrylic and add a final coat of this before we move on to the epoxy, which is optional. You can leave it at this final step of the polycrylic. And same as the last time, I am just going to very gently drag the brush across the surface of the glitter to seal. One thing you wanna be careful of is dabbing down with the brush. You don't wanna do that. The reason is you will get air bubbles in the polycrylic that get trapped because this is a rough surface. If you do, you will get a really cloudy appearance on the top coat of the glitter. And it just doesn't look very good. So I'm just gonna continue over this surface. And then when this coat is applied, I let dry for several hours. At that point, you can either do our next step and apply a vinyl decal, leave it as is if you don't want any other decoration, or you can do a final seal of the two-part epoxy. Our final coat of polycrylic has set. Uh, the next step is to apply a two-part epoxy. This is optional. If you'd like, you can just stop with the polycrylic, that's fine. Polycrylic is limited food safe, but it can get cloudy if submersed in water. So if it's gonna be washed a lot, um, I would go with the epoxy. It's really not that difficult and it'll give you a nice finish. So we'll get our supplies ready for the epoxy. Again, I have wax paper down on my surface to protect it from the epoxy. We have our glass, little measuring cup, big plastic cup, brush, and a stir stick. This is the epoxy that I use. It is the amazing clear cast. Make sure that it is the high gloss clear coating resin system. If you get the mold system, it is in a darker purple box and it will dry white. Don't, don't make that mistake. So I've got both parts of my epoxy mixed in this cup. I used an eighth of an ounce of each part. It doesn't seem like a whole lot, but for these you don't need much if you're just doing one. It's pretty the minimal that I can get without with being precise. So we're just gonna stir this up really well. You want to make sure that you really mix this up well. If it's not properly mixed, it won't set right and it won't cure. After the 24 hour mark, it'll be still tacky if these are not mixed equally and properly. So this should be pretty well mixed up. I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm going to reapply a layer of tape so that I get a nice clean line when we apply the epoxy. So now we're just going to apply a very, very thin coat of the epoxy over just the glittered area of the cup. Unlike the tumblers, I don't apply a very thick coat of the epoxy. I want this very thin. for several reasons. First, it's okay for, in my opinion, to have these have a little bit of a rough texture. That's not a big deal. The other thing is these are going to have to dry standing up like this and I don't want drips down the edge of my cup. This is going on very, very thin. There's no need to monitor these for too long. There's no need to rotate or turn them. If you do want a smooth finish for these loose glitter cups, I would recommend several very, very, very thin coats instead of one thick coat like the tumblers.
This will still take 24 hours to fully cure, even though it's on a little bit thinner. Um, so be sure not to mess with it too much until then. I would check this after about 20 minutes or so and make sure that you're not getting any drips coming down. If you do get drips, take a baby wipe, paper towel, rubbing alcohol, whatever, and just, just wipe it off. That way you don't get any of the epoxy onto your glass. So we'll be back when this is cured. Our epoxy on the cup has been curing for 24 hours. It's ready to go. I applied a vinyl decal. So this is ready to go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. Uh, like this video and subscribe because I'll have more videos coming out soon. Thanks guys.